Hey what's up everybody I hope you all are doing absolutely fine this is Rudra Ditte and in this video I am going to talk about the OnePlus 9R and its heating issues versus the other phones now guys a lots of viewers a lots of you guys asked me just one question that is there any heating issue in OnePlus 9R I mean 90% of the questions are related to the heating issues you guys asked me on my Insta DM you guys asked me in comment box there are a lot of questions about the heating issues in different scenarios as well some people ask that if we uh, uh, do video calls for long you know hours then if the phone gets hit in the charging time while playing game while using camera like there are a lot of scenarios so i will try to cover all those things uh, in this video and then i will tell you that is there any major issue in the oneplus 9r or not and also i bought this so that i can calculate the temperature the real time temperature so that you guys can you know trust this video and uh, I have a lot of phones from different companies. Some phones are old, some phones are new, some phones are like every phone is of different price bracket. Now we have the Xiaomi Redmi K20 Pro and then we have the Samsung Galaxy S10, of course the underdog the OnePlus 9R and then we have the Google Pixel 4a with plastic bag so that will be interesting and the Samsung S10 with Exynos processor. So these phones are also interesting, we will see. Then we have OnePlus Nord and last but not the least, the iPhone 10. So I will compare all these phones so in the same climate at the same time with same, you know, task. So you will get a good idea that is the OnePlus 9R is abnormal or not or is there any heating issues in the OnePlus 9R or not. So let's start with the video recording test where I will um, shoot 10 minutes of video at 1080p 60fps for 10 minutes in all the phones i'm not going to 4k because some phones have 4k 30 fps but and some phones have 4k 60 fps so that's why i stick to 1080p 60 fps and now guys um yeah if if you guys are getting excited about this video then hit the like button and also if this is your first time then make sure to subscribe the channel and with that said let's begin the video all right guys so here i have all the phones for the testing as you can see i set the brightness of all the phones at 100 percent and now let me start the recording first all right it's done oh why not in video mode the pixel 4a the iphone 10 and the oneplus nord right and let me show you all the phones from back so here we have the redmi k20 pro right then the Samsung Galaxy S10 and then of course our main highlight the OnePlus 9R, the Google Pixel 4a, iPhone 10, and of course the OnePlus Nord. And let's see the initial temperature. I will record videos in all the phones for 10 minutes but let's see the initial temperature right. So it's in focus 35 degree Redmi K20 Pro all right let's see the Exynos processor how it's doing already 39.3 as i expected now here we go the oneplus 9r bang not bad 35.8 all right it's time for a plastic bag phone the pixel 4a 37.8 hmm. iphone 10 an old iphone but let's see 35 wow and then the oneplus nord 36.8 guys and you can see it's almost just one minute one minute in all the phones right you will see few seconds difference here and there as i clicked by two and three seconds of margins now we will test the same thing after five minutes and then after 10 minutes all right guys so it's almost five minutes now i will test all the temperature from the back side of the phones right so let's start with the redmi k20 pro but i guess I have to make sure that I will count that only, right? 39, okay, all right, 42.2, Exynos is so hot guys. Now it's time for the OnePlus 9R, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, 39.2, so not bad, not bad, definitely not bad. All right, guys, I guess this is really the bad idea to see the temperature from the back sides. 42.2. Yes, the plastic phone is heating. Definitely. Pixel 4a is 42.2 degrees Celsius. iPhone 10 is 39.9. Now it's catching up some heat for sure. And now we have 
the OnePlus Nord. One of the favorite premium mid-range phone is 42.4. All right. So after almost five minutes of testing, each phone uh, reached to 40 degree mark, close to 40 degrees Celsius. And some phones are over 40 degrees Celsius, guys. So, so far the testing is going so far, I mean, so good. Let's see that which phone, after 10 minutes of recording, which phone will have less amount of uh, temperature and which phone will have the most amount of temperature. All right, guys, unfortunately, at nine minutes recording, the Pixel 4 has stopped. I haven't noticed that the storage of Pixel 4a is about to dead. But after nine minutes of recording, Pixel 4a is 42.7 degrees Celsius. So not bad considering a plastic phone. Well, guys, now the 10 minute mark is about to end. We excluded the Pixel 4a because of the low storage issue. But now I'm going to stop one by one all the remaining five phones. So here we have done the 10 minute mark, 10 minute mark and 10 minute mark. All right, here we have done the 10 minute mark too. And of course the 10 minute mark. Now let's quickly, let me, let me do the quick test of all the phones, right? So here we have the Redmi K20 Pro with 38.7 that's interesting 44.6 the s10 with exynos processor 39.7 guys this is the oneplus 9r with 39.7 degrees celsius c now iphone 10 which was doing actually very good is now 40.9 and then oneplus nord is 41 so guys i guess the oneplus 9r is the winner or it's the Redmi K20 Pro. All right, so Redmi K20 Pro is the winner and then the OnePlus 9R. All right guys, so that's a very interesting first test where OnePlus 9R is on the second position from the bottom. So that's a relief. I mean, OnePlus 9R really did a good job here in the camera usage, right? So overall, I guess there's not a huge, you know, issue when it comes to heating in camera usage now we will test that if there is any heating issues in gaming because out of those 90 percent questions um, about heating issue in oneplus 9 are 80 percent of the viewers asked me about the gaming you know gaming test at while playing games is there any heating issues or not now i'm not going to play games in other phones because definitely exynos i mean samsung s10 pixel 4a oneplus Nord going to heat i don't know about these two phones i mean iphone 10 and k20 pro but I just can't play six hours of COD just to give you the result. So that's why I'm just going to play one hour of COD in the OnePlus 9R. And now let's begin. So guys, I set the timer and now I start playing COD at maximum graphics, at maximum brightness to see that how heat actually the OnePlus 9R will get. But in the first 11 minutes, I see that it's close to 37 degrees Celsius. There is not a lot of heat. Uh, I can see that the phone is getting warm a little bit, but definitely if you see the temperature, then it's very, very less guys. As you can see, it's just 36.8. And now even after playing for, you know, uh, 30 minutes, the temperature remains very constant and it's 36.9 degrees Celsius. You can slow the video to see because I recorded this in time lapse. And even after 40 minutes, guys, again, the temperature was very consistent and see it's just 37 degrees Celsius. So which is actually very good. But now if we see that after one hour, then to be exact, it's 55 minutes and uh, yeah, the temperature was again below 37 degrees Celsius. Now let's see in slow motion. So yeah, I'm just testing it right now. So it's 36.2. And now if you see the temperature, then it's 34 degrees Celsius in my city. So you can get a very good overall idea that in 34 degrees Celsius temperature, the, you know, uh, phone's temperature is close to 36, 37 degrees Celsius throughout the whole, you know, gameplay. And here's the proof that I played COD for one hour. So you guys have I guess that you guys have no doubt about that you see used for 58 minutes to be exact it was for 54 minutes and 30 seconds so overall it's good and now talking about the charging uh, i mean heating issue during the charging then it's 20 percent right now and let's see the initial temperature of the phone it's plugged in already and the phone is charging start charging already so it's 34.2 degrees celsius so it's not bad now i will check after few minutes so that we will get a good idea that if the phone is uh, getting any heat or not during the charging well i know it's 
it doesn't it doesn't get any heat now guys it's 43 percent charged at 350 pm now let's see the temperature so yeah in six minutes it's 37 degrees celsius but now during the rest of the you know charging process it remains to 37 degrees celsius now you can see on the screen it's 87 degree and if i show you the temperature then yeah it's 37 degrees celsius well i am sorry guys because after 87 percent i lost my tracking because of some work so i came back to my studio after 30 minutes and by that time the phone was already 100 percent and also the phone was cooled down so and at that time the temperature was 33.6 degrees celsius but still as you saw that uh, till 87 percent uh, the phone was you know close to 37 degrees celsius and that's the thing it will remain between 37 to 38 degrees celsius and i hope you will get a good overall idea about the uh, heating issue during the charging process now guys as you can see in charging there is no problem in video calls sometimes phone gets little warm but in my testing uh, right now which i was shooting i haven't seen any you know warm or heat but definitely sometimes it gets little warm but that's quite obvious in video calls uh, in i mean in those type of stuffs but talking about the conclusion guys then definitely the oneplus 9r doesn't have any major heating issues it's very normal according to the climate I mean you can see you can clearly see that other phones are also getting heat which is normal I said the exact thing in my review video I also explained to you guys that what is actually heating issue is you cannot consider heating issue when you play games for 2 hours 1.1 to 2 hours and then if you you know complain that my phone gets heat then it's not right it's not fair any phone can get that type of heat when you do such a high extensive task for long duration right so overall i mean that's the conclusion at least my unit doesn't have any heating issues i don't know if any of you existing users are getting you know too much heat in your oneplus 9r but i haven't seen any other youtubers uh, you know claiming or saying that their you know unit get heat and same with me i mean i haven't seen any heating issues that's it now i hope that you guys don't ask again about the heating issues this video will definitely clear all your doubts if it cleared then make sure to subscribe the channel share this video with your friends or you know those who are thinking to buy the oneplus china but they are concerned about the heating issues and i will see you very soon in my next video until then bye bye take care